on the WesternUnion.com VIP Lounge. Son and G Morning Show uh, over here on the WesternUnion.com VIP Lounge with Sierra. Hey, how what you up? doing, boo? I'm amazing. How are you? You are amazing. <laughs> trying feel, to contain DC great. over here. <laughs> Listen, you right. gotta hold me back, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy Sierra's here right now. I've been looking at y'all all morning, and I love y'all, oh, and I love y'all. Whatever. But Sierra's whatever. in the building. I'm, I'm amazed right now. <laughs> this is what family does. Don't trip. We gonna hate on him in a second. Just, just be patient. It's coming. So funny. But I know, right? But you had a show last night at the Regency. How was that? I did. It was incredible. It was the perfect way to end my tour. That's dope. It was last night on the stop and um the love was it was overwhelmingly amazing i mean i put up a really cool instagram video too where um all of the fans of san fran were singing along with me mm-hmm. and it was just so dope uh, and in my, my um team and the, at the end of the last song we do they surprised me because i normally do like a dance for a fan and they kind of did their own flower dance they brought me roses oh, you know which was really sweet, sweet. so yeah. it, was, it was a perfect ending did you and miss on a high note. that feeling of being up there? Oh my gosh, yeah. You know, it had been it been so long, and um, it's it's my favorite place to be. Mm. Um, you know, being on the stage with my fans is just so much fun, and um, there's nothing like it. And yeah. so this has been my best tour experience for myself, and I feel like for my fans thus far in my whole career. And um, it was perfect timing. So the tour, the album. Jackie, yes, you love your mother as most of us do. Absolutely. Shout out to the people right. who don't even know theirs. I'm sorry, Aww. but uh, <laughs> I mean it's true. It it's a part so of life. Good. You got to right. cover everything. But obviously, Jackie. So when did this pop in your head? Like, you know what? I'm gonna dedicate this to my mother. You know, I was just thinking about my life and where I am. I'm, I'm being a new mom. I now know what it's like to be in her shoes, and um, you know, and and I can now see things how my mom saw them. Right. You know, growing up, where now I have to, you know, think about protecting my child and think about his future. And pun intended. <laughs> Um, you know, where I have to like really process, you know, a lot more. And the word responsibility is, it has a whole new meaning to it, but it just felt right. You know, it's like, how do I really, right. how do I sum up where I am right now with mm-hmm. my life and um, the, the amazing new change that's happened to it? And that was just the best way. It was like Jackie. And the funny thing is my album actually came out the day before her birthday. Mm. And I was supposed to be due this, that month, I'm um, at the week that my album came out too, which, so it was all kind of serendipitous. It was always like a lot of great reasons of inspiration as well. So, yeah. Everything Don't. fell in line. Everything right. fell in place. Yeah. That's tight. So with this being, with your sixth album, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, do you feel different, um, you know, coming back out and being on oh, tour? Yeah, and, sure. and actually pressing out all of the records you did this time? Because, you know, as much as you, as much as your sound has evolved, like you kind of keep the same, you know, you keep the, the um, same element, sound and you the make core, things, yeah. The essence of who I am. You know what it is as an artist, I think it's important to try new things and push myself. And um, I really feel like this album is my best body of work. Um, it is the hardest I've ever really dialed in on trying to create a sound and um, tell the story, my music story, how I wanted to. And um, I was very, very blessed to work with some of the best to ever do it, like Dr. Luke and Polo to Don and Harmony and the underdogs. And um, I was very specific about my vision on this album. and. I, I like to focus on Polo, um, on Polo, Luke, and Harmony because I spent the most time with them consistently, and it was intentional because I knew that they would each provide a different sound for the album that would allow it to give, would give it the diversity but still keep the story consistent. Right. And it was the first time I've ever done an album this way, and it was honestly so much fun, and I was so clairvoyant in my in my music making process. You know, I actually started working on my album three weeks before I delivered my son. Mm. And it was intentional with that, too, because I committed two months. I was like, as soon as my son comes, I'm just going to take two months just to be mom. Don't call me for work. Mm-hmm. I don't want any of that stuff. Just right. be mom because I can't get this time back. Right. Being an entertainer, we're going, going, going. It's like you can just be caught up in that, and then you forget about life. So I was like, that's my commitment. But before I did that, I wanted to make sure that I had my creative direction because I'm like I can't just go into mommyville and forget about work right you know so I was um three weeks before my son was born I went in with Luke and locked into a vibe and everything was intentional with this record you know in reference to the creative goal and I really worked I've, I've pushed I've always worked hard and I've always bust my butt but this time I went a little extra mal and I had so many reasons to so I'm really really proud of it and in taking like the brick that you that you took to be able to be mommy and be mommy the right way and do all of that, right? Did you feel some sort of pressure 
coming back that maybe you know i'm at a place where i just can't overthink things you know it's mm -hmm. like you can't force a square into a circle philosophy right. that's i think having a child does that to you you know having my child makes me selfless and a lot of things that i would normally get hung up on or worry about i can't i don't have time to so um you know i i try to allow myself to enjoy it's like take everything a day at a time just enjoy what's happening to you in the moment because sometimes when we start to think about what we want so much you know it's like it can get a little crazy and we can get all thrown off and for me I was like you know what I want to have a successful album I want to go out here and rock the world but let me go one day at a time with all of this like enjoy every moment so enjoy being a mom don't worry about it like right. enjoy this moment then get to the next moment you know so I took it that way and I think that's what allowed me to keep having fun because right. when you start worrying I think that's when it also it could also mess up the creative yeah, process. Yeah, it gets phony. Yeah, it's like, it just can get weird. It's like, you're overthinking things, mm -hmm. and you're like, I gotta do this, and uh. It's like, no, just be, like, just feel, go one day at a time, and do whatever you feel right in your soul. So that's what I did. So I had the best pregnancy experience. <laughs> I had the best delivery experience. Yeah. I had the best album-making process, but I committed to that concept, so yeah. You have so many irons in the fire right <laughs> now because you have the baby, you have the album, you just got off the tour. I know that you're the face of a new, of, of a big fashion house right now. Cavalli, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and yes, not only that, you. what's up with this TV show that I'm seeing that right. you're yeah, on? Yeah, it's so Please exciting. tell me about that. Actually, the next episode comes on tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Mm. Um, 10 p.m. Eastern, um, 9 p.m. Central. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Get it right. um, it's called I Can Do That. And Marlon Wayne's is the host. Myself, Nicole Scherzinger, Joe Jonas, Alan Richardson, Jeff Dye, and Cheryl Burke. We all get together every week, and we compete, against, we compete in things that we think we can do. So three acts come out that we don't know are going to come out. And you race up the stairs to try to get the one that you want. And you better hope you get up those stairs fast enough. <laughs> because you can end up with something that you didn't want. Yeah. And that right. has happened to me more than one time. Uh, but all of them are great things, though. You know, um, It's really fun. It's a great challenge. I, I think it allows. What I like about this show is that it's allowed me to grow because you know as an entertainer we just express through the stage and we express through interviews but in this case you get to see us be vulnerable and get to see how we're just like you like everyone and we get to we're all the same like it's like we get challenged it gets ugly we got to fight we got to find how to find out how to get the mission accomplished and um you know we, we accomplish everyone which is great so um it's really fun i honestly i just i walked away just so proud of myself, I have to say, um, because I used to really be to myself all the time, but this was so much fun. And um, I realized there's nothing I can't do, you know, right. I'm just saying, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm fully complete. Now, you know what? <laughs> I gotta bring up the elephant in the room because they're, you know, he's like, okay. Oh but, gosh, I mean, you we know have so funny. <laughs> no, can I just say this? Everybody goes, he goes, she goes. Because <laughs> they knew I was going to do it because in, you know, completing your album, I mean, a big part of your life was future at, at a certain point. I, I'm sure there's some writings in there that may be about your relationship with him and in being one of us and everybody out there, the realistic things that happen with your relationship you know, women and men alike can all relate. Now, we just had him shortly before we heard mm -hmm. about the split and he was all about family, yeah. you know. I'm gonna take my family on tour and it's gonna be amazing and you know I want to be with my kids and then a couple times later you know you can't always believe the blog sites but they were like oh god there's problems so what was the breaking point between you and future you know I, I wish I could tell you that <laughs> <laughs> well but you won't um, well, you know I, I just say everything in life really happens exactly how it's supposed to and that I never questioned God with, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and the great thing is that we have created something that is, you know, so amazing. My son Absolutely. is the sweetest thing and the best thing that could have ever happened to my life. I feel like it was necessary. My son was necessary for me to grow and, and to be, he, my son grounds me mm -hmm. and my son comes with so much love. My son, you know, is that, that life is just being able to have a child is like I feel so blessed. Yeah. Um, way up. I must feel blessed. blessed. Um, you know, but um, yeah, I, I wish I could tell you, uh, but you know, everything works exactly how it's supposed to. So let's move on to the other elephant in the room. Uh oh. Uh, this one would be uh, the one who's a uh, he kind of a oh, Super God. Bowl champion. <laughs> and, I wasn't you know, ready to move on from future. Is yet. in you just Seattle in some area? <laughs> is there is there something that? We don't know about that. That you want to confirm or deny at um, this point? You know, I, I said it the other day. That that is my man. Oh, right now. So you won't even talk Sierra about the baby Russell daddy. Wilson. <laughs> this is that, that's that's solid right now. 
Absolutely. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Like Official. It. Well, I, I feel you. And, you know, I'm a mother. Kimmy's a mother. Mm -hmm. We're working on D.C. We're trying to, you know, steal his condoms no. or whatnot. But <laughs> no. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she looks. Take your time. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I mean, do. but. Take your time. I'm in the same situation as you. You know, I don't have a, uh, my daughter doesn't have a father. Not that Future's not trying to be a father to his son. But, you know, I mean, again. You're it's, a single mom. I am. And it's a relatable thing for, mm -hmm. for everybody. So what other parts of your life are you going to be talking about in Jackie? Oh, my goodness. Um, I, I am. I, I, and on Jackie, there's a song called BMF, the opening track. And um, I basically was inspired from when I, I just, I was, one day I was really, I, had, I called the spirit. I called the ghost. <laughs> called um, <him>. Wow. <laughs> and I was um, just <laughs> thinking about you. my journey. I was thinking about my personal, my professional journey, just my ups, my downs. Mm. And I was like, I just live with a nine pound, 10 ounce baby. I'm a bad mother. Like, <laughs> you know, so that's where that song was inspired from. And so I just went in and I just, I screamed, I'm a bad mother. I'm a bad. Like, that's where I, I was inspired from. So you have songs like that, mm. you know, that um, I think that everyone can relate to. It's very empowering. You know, it's kind of yeah. like how you don't give up. And, you know, you do have, like, I, I had an experience, you know, where it was like maybe a friendship that I had for years. Um, mm. You know, it didn't quite, it kind of went apart. Like, and on this, on this, on this song, I talked about that. You know, it's like sometimes people get thrown off by being caught up in the wrong things. And then things like that happen. And then, you know, there's a song called I Got You mm. um, where um, I'm talking about my son. I dedicated it to my son and Diane Warren wrote the actual track I co-produced it with um, Harmony mm. and I also remixed the Hush Little Baby Lullaby for my son so I made that version which it comes on in the beginning of it but um, my son's on the song as well and that's really fun and, and funny and cute um, but you know I'm, I'm really I'm the most expressive I've ever been um, in my life, um, you know, it's beyond the music. It's kind of just where I am as a woman. And again, the clairvoyance, kind of, it couldn't be any stronger. You know, I'm so clairvoyant. And so I just poured my heart into the music. I just, I wanted to speak on things that were real, you know, things that, you know, that f came from my soul because it's like, what am I talking about at this point? Like, I think that people, you know, they know that the dancing is there. They know that part of it, but it's important for me for people to get to know me more and, and, and music, it's so powerful, you know, this platform that I've been given, and I, it keeps being affirmed more and more every day that I don't believe it's just to sing and dance. Mm -hmm. I really believe that there's got to be something that I get to share, and mm -hmm. why not be inspired from my life experiences, and maybe that could inspire someone else. Like, this platform is large. We get to talk to billions of people, not millions, but yeah. billions of people. So for me, I'm like, I'm going to allow God to use me, however, and I'm going to allow this music to just be you know, express myself. Right. Don't be afraid. I used to be so, I used to be like, oh, people are going to think this. They're going to think. Now it's like, say what you say, mean what you say, <laughs> and it is what it is. Right. You're yeah, grown up so, now. Yeah. I, I done grown up now. And babies do that to you. <laughs> they do that to you. <laughs> they overnight. do that to you. Life no changes. Choice. It's like, boom, a whole different thing happens. Well, I promised DC that I was going to try to make something happen for him oh, today. Yeah. Because okay. we know that you like to pull so, somebody up oh and do gosh. a little dance when uh, one of your songs comes on. And I know we are going to play Dance Like We're Making uh -huh. Love, right? What? Here for everybody. I, I, I think we should switch it up. Well, whatever you want to do. But this is the one we have <laughs> queued up. But we can change I it. Let me get a seat up here. I think that DC should do a dance for me. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Come on, dude. All right, well, yeah, you gonna fine. do? Oh, he's that's down. I, I didn't know you'd be down. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not tripping. Oh, okay, let's go. Oh, can he knows how to do stripping. Can we trade it? though? <laughs> possibly. Okay, possibly. I, I, I feel like I, 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 I want to see what you do first. Do what you need. All right, I'm going in. All right. We're gonna play. He's going in. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Here we go. Let me get out of the way. You know what? It's not. We gonna leave you there. I got to just sit here. I need enough space. We both at this party. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, D. I thought you got this. Come on, D. Come on, D. You got this. Once in a lifetime. Let's go. Once in a lifetime. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pull your dollars out, everybody. Taking the stage. You say you need a shot of the Henny. All in one. Can we trade him? Can he get up, bro. D? Sit down. Let her give you just a little something. Just sit down, D. Sit down, D. Sierra, everybody. It's about to get hot and heavy. Do it, girl. Come on. All day. Make his millennium. You're getting close in the light. He's like, I'm happy. 
She's like, I'm dead. She was mad at me. She do a professional. See? You got to come to the show for that. Okay. <laughs> we did one move, though. So, so, so uh, the <laughs> second leg of the tour good. starts when? So the, uh, the second leg. <laughs> <laughs> I will be letting you know that soon. And I will make sure I bring you up. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. Thank you so much for coming and chopping it up with us, girl. Of Although, course. you didn't want to answer my question. I'm a walk I away. I did. I answered that. you, girl. You, you did. did a, little bit, a little bit. A little bit. But you, you contained some information. It's fine. I understand. But Sierra, everybody, thank you for uh, coming thank back you. and kicking it with us, Mom. Of course. It's so good to see you guys. You yeah. too. Hey, y'all. I'm Sierra. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out exclusive interviews and live performances here on 106kmel.com. If you want to see. Oh. You say you need a shot of the Henny. Then you're ready. Do what you need.